Hello, let's see a demo of the new Chitralekha user interface for audio transcription and audio transcription editing project types. In order to enable this new user interface, click on Use Chitralekha Transcription Flow. If you want to continue using the old one, you can just uncheck this checkbox. So this is an audio transcription editing project type and as usual you can access the tasks by either clicking on start labeling now or individually clicking on annotate button for each of the tasks. This is the new user interface for audio transcription editing project type. As you can see here is the audio file which is of 14 seconds duration. You can just play or pause it by clicking on this button. So these are all the segments for this particular audio file. So this is the timeline bar which also has the segments added here. In order to navigate through this audio, you can just click anywhere on this timeline bar or you can just click here, hold and drag it this way to move it to a particular point or you can just click on any of the segments and the audio will start playing from that particular segment. So each of these segments have the start and end time displayed here. If you want to edit the timestamp of a particular segment, you can modify the values here this way. Both start and end time can be adjusted this way. Or what you can do is you can click and drag the segments here. In order to start entering the transcripts, you can listen to the audio. So now this is the Tamil language audio file and if you don't have that language keyboard, you can click on this settings and enable transliteration. So let us just listen to it. So if you type it, you will get the different spelling options and you can select the correct spelling. So if you already have this Indian language keyboard, you can just uncheck this. So for selecting the speaker associated with this segment, you can click on this drop down and select the speaker. Now let us say that you are entering some other text here. If you want to merge the two segments together, you can just click and click merge next. So these two will get merged. If you want to split a single segment into two segments, you can click at the appropriate position and then click on split subtitle. Now we have two subtitles. Now we can see that the segment has gotten split. If you want to access the noise tags, press backslash in your keyboard and the list of tags will appear. Select the appropriate one and it will get added like this. Apart from these, for languages like Urdu, you can select RTL typing. There is this option of undo redo. So if you click on undo, the split has gotten undone. And if you want to redo it, you can, it happens. If you want to move to the next page, you can just click on this page number and the set of segments in this page will appear here. So generally for audio transcription editing project type, we do not create or delete any segments. But if at all there is a need to do that, for deleting any segment, click on that segment and click on delete. The segment will get deleted. If you want to add a new segment, just click on this add subtitle box and a new segment will get added below this. To access notes in the transcription editing page, click on this and you can see the annotation notes and review notes here. Another new feature which has been added in the notes is the formatting for the text in notes. Now if you want to access it, double click on the word and you can see that there are options for making it bold, italics or underlining it or striking it through and there is also this option of adding subscript superscript. So just select the word and you will get the subscript here. Apart from these, the draft, next, skip and update buttons work similar to how it worked in the previous interface. This interface also has auto save features which saves your work every one minute. This covers the basic features in this transcription editing page. Thank you.